All right, so let's take a look <coughs> at this here. And uh, do we have a volunteer for letter A, at least for the setup, maybe? Okay, maybe not just the answer. Let's get the setup first. Okay, that's kind of important. All right, so what would, what would our setup be for the integral for letter A? Any volunteers? Yes, Emily! A brave soul. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Okay, from zero to the A, yeah, whatever that A value is. So I'm going to just use like a capital A there, I guess, right? Okay. Um, and then in parentheses, 4 minus X squared. Okay, so 4 minus X squared, okay. Minus E to the X. Minus E to the X. DX. DX. Okay, very good. And I'm going to put some additional grouping symbols here, all right, just for that. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay, great job. That would be it, okay. Did you get an answer for that when you like uh, typed in your calculator and yeah, stuff like I that? Okay, nine five six six three three six one three something like that. Okay, okay, that looks good. Let's see here. Check it in my calculator too. Make sure. Four minus. Well, if Lander got it, then it must be. No, it could be wrong. <laughs> well, if Mr. Wade got it, it also could be wrong too, right? So let's just check to make sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Looks good. Great job, Emily. Well done. All right. Any questions on that? Area of a region between two curves. All right. Cool. All right, then um, letter B then. Find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the x-axis. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to take that region, revolve it about the x-axis. Since we're revolving out the x-axis here, we're going to be integrating with respect to what variable? It's a horizontal line, or axis of rotation, so it's respect to x, right? Everything should be in terms of x. All right. Are we going to be using uh, disks or washers here? Washers, because we've got some empty space between our region and the uh, x axis, our axis of revolution, okay, of rotation. So yes. So if you if it was the, if it was going to be a disk, did you still use a washer method? Yes. 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 Your little washer will just turn out, or your little radius will turn out to be zero every time. In that case, okay. Um, so all right, volunteers for this one, letter B. How about for the setup here? What will the setup? What will the setup be? Sean. Okay, Sean. Okay, great. First of all, I just want to stop right there. Yes, pi times the integral. Okay, so yeah, go ahead. Zero to, ooh, it's not one. It looks like it's one. But this value is actually like 1.058006064. So we're going to use that value, which I, which I remember I said earlier was A. So we're just going to say from zero to A there. OK, but go ahead. Now, what, what's your integrand? What's your integrand? Four minus x squared That quantity squared. OK, so that's our big radius, you're saying. OK. Okay, and then dx, yeah? Very good. All right. That is the setup there, all right? Our, again, big or slash, you know, outer radius, okay, is the curve for minus x squared minus the axis, which is zero, right? The axis of rotation is um, y equals zero, and so it's just curve minus axis, and then the um, small slash inner radius is going to be the e to the x minus, again, the axis there of 0. Okay. Now, do you need to show this and this? No, not necessary. Okay. If you can get it all done just like that, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, um, Sean, I'm going to guess then, since you didn't have, you didn't use one as your upper limit, you probably don't quite have the right, um, you know, value there for it. But if we, if I do it here, let's see. Oh, you did? Okay. 
Yes. 10.386 and then pi. Okay, so now I'm a little concerned. I'm going to actually recheck oh, that mic. Yeah, yeah, don't forget the pi, right? So don't forget the pi. It Very. Pi out, so well. But you just put times pi on the end. Isn't that the same answer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should work here. Let me just check to make sure on that. Uh, comma x, comma 0, comma 1.3. One point zero five eight zero zero six four. Okay, so a more precise answer here that I'm going to give because that ten point three eight six is a rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the final answer. Okay, thirty two point six two nine. Thirty two point six two nine. Okay. Um, if you round the 10.386, if you round the integral and then multiply by pi, it will still give you the right answer, okay, in, that, in this case. It, you'll still get the right answer with rounding, okay, but just barely there. So, so do be careful with intermediate rounding, okay. My recommendation, again, you know, maybe don't do the intermediate rounding, right? You know, just, just leave it as precise as you can and then multiply through by the pi and get that, and then finally round at the very end. Hold off on rounding until the very end. Okay? All right. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Letter C. Letter C. We're now revolving about the line x equals negative 3, which is a vertical or horizontal line. Vertical line, means, which means we're going to have to do this in terms of, in terms of y. Ooh, right? Less comfortable. Less comfortable, right? Maybe not, but I always remember having, whenever we change it in terms of y, it was trickier for me as a student. Right? So now our axis of rotation is going to be somewhere over here. Or not somewhere over here, at exactly negative 3. Okay, and we're going to rotate about that axis. <clears throat> and so we're again looking for, well, we're going to have some space between our region, okay, and the axis of rotation. So we're going to have to use washer method again. All right. And additionally, our big radius is determined by which curve? Y equals e to the x. And y equals 4 minus x squared. Okay. If you look here, right, what are our limits of integration going to be from what to what? 1 to 4 total, I would say, in total. But the problem is that... Starting at 1 and going up to about 2.8806225, all right, our furthest radius is determined by this curve, y equals e to the x. But then at exactly 2.88, well, approximately 2.8806225, our outermost curve changes then to be this curve, which is the 4 minus the x squared. And so we have two different curves for our outermost radius, okay, which means, can we write this as a single integral? No, we have to set up two separate integrals. So we're going to set up an integral for the scenario here, where our outermost curve is this. And then we're going to set up another integral to add with that one, where our outermost curve is this. OK? So that's what we have to do here. <coughs> OK? So let's worry about this first integral for this region, this part of our R region right there. OK? So volume equals pi times integral from 1 to, and we're going to use um, the B value there. If you'll permit me there, just use capital B. Because <coughs> you already established that, that was what the B was. Okay. Now, our big radius. <coughs> okay. And this is for the interval 1 to B. I'm kind of trying to organize this in a little table here for us. <clears throat> Our big radius for the 1 to B section, okay, is going to be this curve, which is e to the x. But, of course, the problem with e to the x, that's in terms of x. We need it in terms of y. So, yeah, if y equals e to the x, that means then that x equals the natural log of y. If you take the natural log of both sides right there, that's what it is. And so... It's curve, natural log of y, minus our axis, negative 3. OK? 
Okay. So the big radius for the 1 to b interval is going to be natural log of y plus 3. And again, squared for the big radius there. Okay. So not only do you have the complexity of like translating something that's in terms of x to be in terms of y and like adjusting your thinking from left to right instead from bottom to top and all that stuff, right, and breaking up into two integrals, you'll also find yourself missing things like putting the pi in front. You'll find yourself missing things like putting the square right there. Okay, so just be careful. Be careful. That is big radius squared. Okay, then minus. All right, now what determines our little radius? Well, what's the curve right here? What's the, what's the little radius curve right here? What's this curve? Zero. Y or x equals zero is the curve is zero right here. Okay, this is zero. But it's zero, that's the curve minus the axis of negative three. Okay. Again, our curve here is x equals zero. That is for this region, right? For this region right here, the inner radius is this curve right here. It's the closest curve. Okay, and so that's zero. And so we're gonna have zero minus negative three is a positive three, so three squared dy <coughs> okay plus new integral here b to 4 now and so for the interval from b to 4 Now what is our outermost curve? So we're talking from the b value here, the y value equals b up to 4. What's our outermost curve? The 4 minus x squared, but that is in terms of x. We need it in terms of y. So we'll um, subtract 4, so you get y minus 4 equals negative x squared. Multiply both sides by negative 1. You get 4 minus y equals x squared. Okay. And then we'll square root both sides. So x equals square root of 4 minus y. Again, it technically should be a plus or minus, but which part are we going to be using here? The plus part, because our x values are positive x values. We're in the first quadrant here, only dealing with positive x values. So you can get rid of that minus. It's just going to be positive root 4 minus y. So the big radius is going to be root 4 minus y minus our axis of negative 3. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then the little radius will still be zero. Okay, and so then we end up with the quantity root four minus y plus three quantity squared minus the little radius of three squared dy. There's our setup. Easy peasy. Okay. For problems like this, uh, you know, you, I mean, I guess, you know, obviously we could be asked to actually find the volume and, you know, evaluate it and stuff like that. But alternatively, um, sometimes these kind of problems that you'll be asked to set up but do not integrate. Oh, question. The little radius stuff? So you're okay with the big radiuses. So you're okay with like these two, but not this one. <clears throat> so um, looking at our region up here, back to like the curve, I think this is going to be the best way to go about that. All right. Um, again, since we are integrating here with respect, um, well, sorry, we're rotating about the line x equals negative 3. No problem with that, right? And so then how do we find a radius? Our radius is always from the center, which is the center is going to be the axis. So you're good with that, okay? Always from the center to the edge, right? And so the big radius, right? The, the, the bigger kind of like designation away from our rate from our center here, the bigger curve or the bigger radius is gonna be determined by the curve. And you're okay with that, right? Okay. So then the um, inner radius, right? The thing we're gonna be subtracting out is gonna be this empty space. What determines this empty space? Well, it is the it is the, the length from negative three to well, this is zero, right? 
So that curve there is zero. Okay, so that's the idea. Does that make sense now? I mean, so that's the idea. The left, the leftmost part there, is zero. Okay, so <clears throat> compare or contrast that with when we were rotating about the x-axis, right? Rotating about the x-axis, the curve furthest from the x-axis was that four minus x squared. So that was our big radius, and then always for that for that region, I guess we'll say the four minus x squared was on top, and then the closer radius was right here, determined by this curve, which is the e to the x. Okay, um, it was nicer when we were doing that x-axis stuff. Okay, but anyway, there's the setup for that, and then I can type this into the calculator here. So let's see here, pi math nine. Ellen <coughs> x plus three squared minus nine comma x comma. Zero six two two five plus pi math nine. <coughs> Oops. Square root four minus x plus three squared minus nine x. Okay, when I type that whole mess in my calculator, and hopefully I typed it correctly, <clears throat> I get about 41.647. Okay? About 41.647. <clears throat> questions on any of that? Any other questions? All good? All right. So then the remainder of the time is yours to, uh, oh, wait, no, we're going to go over our test. So we'll do that first, OK? Um, so if I could, let's see, I'll have the people that were, oh, question. Yes, go ahead.